Hey guys, so today I am back with my favorites. I'm just gonna get right into it because you guys know the drill with favorites. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for future videos and leave me a comment down below if you ever have anything on your mind to talk about. Let's go. I have two Lush products here. The first one is a face mask and I've actually never used a face mask from Lush before which is crazy because that's like what they're known for besides bath bombs but I've just never done it. And this one, I totally bought it because it said coffee in the title, and it's the cup of coffee face and body mask. So you guys have definitely seen masks like this before. They just basically have coffee grinds in them. Some people use like some sort of soil or dirt, and it acts as a natural exfoliant, and it's also super moisturizing. It's described as kickstart your day with a stimulating blend of fresh ground coffee, kaolin, and agave syrup. It smells really nice. It is one of those face masks though that if you leave it on for a long time the scent really does soak into your skin which is good because it gives you a burst of energy when you smell coffee later but just be prepared sniff it before you buy it make sure that you like the scent because you will definitely be smelling a lot of it. The second Lush product is Mint Juleps the Lip Scrub. So I have used this lip scrub in so many of the different flavors. I loved the chocolate vanilla when they had it and then I went for the popcorn didn't love that as much. I always get the Santa one at Christmas because I mean it tastes like coca-cola that's my fave but everyone talks about mint julep so I ran out of the Santa one and I needed a new one the popcorn one I was gonna get it again because I'm not a big mint person but honestly I didn't remember being super fond of that flavor so I went with the mint juleps because everyone talks about it and I have to say I actually love the consistency of this one the most I feel like it's that it got that abrasiveness right, but it's not so abrasive that it like hurts, which is what I kind of remember the popcorn one being like. And the Santa one is like almost like sticky, like it has like a syrup in it. So that one wasn't super abrasive. So I really like this and it's supposed to be a mint chocolate sugar lip scrub. So it's not su as minty as people make it out to be. It feels nice if you get a little bit up on like your tongue, it just makes your mouth feel fresher. But it's not like you just like sucked on a lifesaver or like a Tic Tac for an hour. I have this wonderful nail polish on my nails right now and it is the Jelly High Shine Nail Paint from Berry M in the shade Blueberry or 525. So my cousin went to London and I gave her a whole list of all the beauty products that I like died for when I went to London last year and so she brought me back this color and I have to say I am in love with it. It is possibly the prettiest color and I literally texted her the second that it went on my hand and I was like this may be the one nail polish Polish that I have fallen in love with in the last year like I really rarely really really fall in love with a new nail polish but this one I mean it's just beautiful it lasts really long she said that and I'm noticing it which I didn't notice with all of their nail polishes that I have but I love 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 that one this may be a repeat favorite but honestly I don't care because it's so amazing and it's the Bite Agave Lip Mask. Now that I think about it, I definitely put this in last month's favorite. It's the pink tinted one. I don't know how else to describe this. Guys, if you guys have dry lips, if you suffer from lip flakiness, whatever, get this product because this product is the most hydrating lip mask that I have ever found and it lasts so long. I'll put this on before bed and I wake up with it still on my lips. No joke. It's amazing. I've never found that before and I had my hesitations with it at first. I mean look, it's not going to be a cure-all product, but it is definitely the best product that I found out there. It doesn't mean that I use it universally. I still have other lip balms that I use. I still love other lip balms, but this guy is fantastic. Since I moved into my apartment, I've been trying to try out new products here and there because I'm a creature of habit and it's good to get out of that. So I tried out the Dove Advanced Hair Series Quench Absolute Shampoo and Conditioner. Now, I'm not sponsored by Dove. I just want to throw that out there because everyone and their mother on YouTube has been sponsored by Dove Hair Care in the last year. And I think mainly that's because as a consumer, I'm really skeptical skeptical about Dove. Like, I mean, I love Dove soaps. I use their body wash religiously, but I just never thought of them as someone to use for hair products. And I mean, their packaging is on point, it looks nice, I like using it in the shower, it's cute, but this stuff is actually really good. Like, my hair feels really great when I'm using it. It doesn't feel too drying when I'm using the shampoo, and it does clean it very well. 
and with the conditioner I step out of the shower and my hair already feels moisturized. I mean like I haven't been using leave-in conditioner because I forgot to buy it when I moved here so I've just really been using this and like some of the other products I normally use that help with hydration but this guy has made it feel like when I walk out of the shower and I brush through my hair there are no tangles it feels really nice and my hair does look well moisturized which is pretty cool um, I want to say that this guy prevents split ends does nothing like that but most shampoos do not for me so just gonna throw that out there but the products are fantastic and they're really affordable the last product that I have here for my favorites is this Sigma brush cleaning glove there's a real name for it. oh it's a spa glove yeah so you guys know I am an affiliate of Sigma if you guys want to use my link down below you can and I will put a 10% off code down there because I always forget to put those in um, but yeah basically you wear this glove like this it has two hands and it has a eye side and a face side to clean your makeup brushes now you guys probably aren't like me you don't religiously clean your makeup brushes because you're not wearing as much makeup as me but if you're someone that does want to get into that routine or that currently does and that's using their hand using your hand to clean makeup brushes is honestly so frustrating sometimes and like my hand would cramp up it would feel like really dry at the end of it it was just a pain and using this I've one my hand has felt so much better two cleaning makeup brushes has become so much less of a hassle and this has gotten my brushes cleaner than using my hand alone and soap and everything like that um and I mean I cleaned like other people's makeup brushes that I know with this guy who had never cleaned their makeup brushes before and honestly the amount of makeup that was in their brushes was revolting but it made me feel so good even though they weren't my makeup brushes I just felt good knowing that I got something that clean with a piece of plastic glove and yeah it's just really good it's fairly expensive it's like $30 I want to say but if you're going to use it a lot I do recommend the investment when it comes to random favorites I have a ton so my first favorite for songs that is going to have to be drag me down by one direction one direction has my heart they've completely taken it and it's really embarrassing because um, this last month a lot of the One Directioners came up in conversation in my daily life. I'm not going to talk about why, I'm not going to talk about how, except for the fact that I know someone that was eating with one of them and I didn't get to go. And it's kind of embarrassing being obsessed with One Direction. Well, I'm not obsessed, but I really like them um, because I'm 20 and I feel like there's like a certain age where you're not allowed to be into famous people that much. And I've reached that age, I guess. But. I'm not ready for that, so I'm gonna keep on loving One Direction. Drag me down, stole my heart, Nile Horn, give me a call. Watch me like that's not even how you pronounce his name, but I'm so upset, so whatever. My second favorite is the same favorite that I had last month, and maybe even the month before that. No, not the month before that, because I didn't discover the show until middle of August, and my life has forever changed, and that is Dawson's Creek. Now, don't even start to tell me that Dawson's Creek ended 10 years ago. I know that, I know that I was six when the show came out, but I don't care because you know what? Dawson's Creek is amazing, okay? I have two seasons left. I'm not okay with that. I want there to be like eight more, but I already know that Katie Holmes like has her own life and whatever, but Dawson's Creek, watch it if you have not. Um, yeah, I mean, I've also been loving a ton of other shows. Awkward came back, faking it. Faking it on MTV is where it's at. I mean, I don't know I just really love that show but I also can't wait for my other CW shows to come back because they come back in just a couple of weeks and I cannot wait. Be Flash season 2 yes. I think that is it for this video of favorites so I will see you guys in my next video if you have any video requests leave them down below because sometimes I get into a funk and I don't know what to film and you guys help me out we're on the same page here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!